It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. And when you say someone's picky, mm -hmm. what does that make you think about? Mm. Ooh, they they focus on all little details and they'll like not do stuff if it's not the way they want it. Yeah, or maybe oh. they're like scared of rejection themselves. Yeah. So they find reasons to not like you. Uh, I don't okay. know. For me, the first thing oh. I think about is food. Yeah, oh. I, I think a lot of people are. <laughs> I was talking about food. Yeah, right? they're picky about what they eat. <laughs> no, I wasn't thinking that. No, you weren't. <laughs> no. I bet you didn't know, though. Food is only the number two thing that people are most picky about. The number really? one thing, of course, is their romantic partner. Oh, yeah. yeah. And we should know. After all the second dates that we've done over oh, the years yeah. on this show, Jeez. we know exactly how finicky people can be when it comes to uh -huh. dating. About anything. Right. Yeah. I don't date guys under six foot nine. They need to be between <laughs> 28 and 28 and a half. Anything else is ick. Brown hair, rich, six pack, and they must have surgically enhanced foreheads. That's Alexis. But I was like, did you read my text? <laughs> I don't understand why I'm so single. It's probably because I'm an Aries. That's why. Yeah, I'm an Aries. <laughs> You know, it's good to have some standards right. when it comes to dating, but yeah. there is a fine line between not letting yourself settle and becoming way too picky about it. Absolutely. And one guy over in Ireland has definitely crossed that line. In fact, he's making news today because many are calling him the pickiest man on earth. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Dude, I feel like it's harder for dudes to be picky. Like, girls can be picky. Cause... It just, it's just not mm. as common, there you I go. think, is yeah. what it is, you know? That's what I mean. This guy's name is Steven. He's 32 years old, and he recently updated his Tinder profile, laying okay. out exactly what oh, he no. wants from his ideal match. <laughs> Which is good to know what you want. It is. But I'm know. scared of what you're about to read. Me too. Well, <laughs> his bio starts with his non-negotiables. Okay, oh. here we go. Here we go. He lists them in bullet point. No single mothers. Firm. Okay. Wow, bro. Are you kidding? You know how many hot single moms are out I mean, there? yeah, but I think single moms appreciate that. Like, yeah. they don't want to be with yeah. somebody who hates kids or yeah. something, right? Yeah, yeah. Or is he going to take it seriously? Yeah. Nothing <laughs> over 140 pounds. Whoa. Nothing. You... All right. <laughs> Not no one? Already, <laughs> I am out. No <laughs> government assistance. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Oh, come on. No yeah, mental harsh. health. Wait, what does that mean? That's all the girls I did have no mental, mental health yeah. issues or just no mental health? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should probably be clear on that, but I think he's he means like, no I, issues. Like, I'm all crazy. I have is, he's like, actually, that's good. That means you have no mental health. Yeah, so, yeah. I like it. Also, contract phone only, unlimited data. <laughs> what? Stop. I don't, you don't want the excuse of like, I ran out of minutes. I, like, I'm not going to lie. If I'm being 100% honest, I probably have a lot of the same non negotiables <laughs> Are you being for real? For real. Like, I mean, the unlimited so data. Far. Let's that, be honest. Yes. Unlimited data is very important to me. Also, nothing under an iPhone 8. What? Dude. Are you joking? Because, no. ew. Are you being sarcastic? He's not. I'm not. I, I know so many girls that have the iPhone rule that, like, once you text them, they're like, ew, is that a green bubble? Ew. Android? No. See? You out. Android? <laughs> yeah, it's point proven. Yeah. Oh, my God. Anyway, but he, he goes on, and he has a few more stipulations depending on how attractive you are. Okay. So if you pass those, okay. he also says, no essential oils. <laughs> like, no, I, I think I know what he means. If you smell like lavender, I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> Some people like obsess about essential oils, though. Yeah. So also, maybe? Maybe. Like, he, he just wants one of those Glade plug-in type Yeah, girls. yeah. It's a breeze or nothing. I'm more of a Yankee candle. No, <laughs> no skinny coffee. Oh, but, but, but you have to maintain his weight. Yes, <laughs> you have to find a different way to, to stay skinny. Yeah, because he's supposed to be under one forty. Right. Also, no debt until it's a house worth more than three hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh. He also says no, and I agree with this last one. No motivational quotes on the timeline. <laughs> I'm with you. Oh, oh, man. Man. I, uh, I think we can all agree. I mean, yeah. and when you walk into a house that has live, laugh, love on the wall, it's yeah. like an I, automatic turn off. I'm just laughing. Yeah. yeah. I'm not doing the I'm other sorry. Thing. And another, I'm sorry to, to all the ladies who love Target. Okay? I know. Oh. Another thing that drives me crazy is the ones that have just words all over the house where yeah. it's like yeah. cook, yeah. Yeah. bar. Oh, my yeah. God. Or like, the living room's like gather. Yeah. 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 No crap. We're all going to gather yeah. for dinner here. Like, <laughs> There also tends to be just letters. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have so many M's in your house? I don't get it. Oh, but it's cursive, so it's quirky. Yeah. Like, no. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. So this is a lot, but he adds, I get a high volume of messages and can't message them all, but thanks for trying. Dude. So apparently there's so, women that are into it. Can he live 
live up to that. this list himself. Yeah. Well, like, he has no debt. He is well, perfectly fit. He actually doesn't reveal anything about what he oh, can offer to of a woman. Of oh. There we go. Well, probably could, he's just too masculine and rich and oh, amazing. Like, yeah. You should feel lucky to be considered by I'm him. I'm sure that's what it is. But he does let his ladies know some of the things that he likes. Okay. That's good. Okay. And his interests include, quote, spirituality, what? Okay. West End musicals. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's very rare. Okay. Dancing and okay. narrow boats. <laughs> Did you say narrow yeah. boats? Like a gondola? Like, I, like <laughs> he doesn't like his girl's fat or his boats. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> boats like his women. Well, narrow maybe, and inexpensive. Maybe that explains his weight limit. Maybe you can oh, only yeah, have so much weight inside a narrow boat. I live in a kayak. Yes. So you can't fit with me. <laughs> like it's it's not a vanity thing, yeah. you guys. It's just <laughs> logical. So of course, people found Steven's profile, and obviously there were thousands of comments about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah not Steven. all that positive. One no. person said, "Things Steven has to offer: the audacity." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another person said, "He wants a plant." He needs to go to the store and buy a cactus. That's it. Why is he even on Tinder? Yeah. Everything's annoying for him. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Steven is definitely high on the picky scale. Yeah. But I think that everybody has some weird dating deal breakers. Text into 78592. Yeah. What's the strangest thing you consider a non-negotiable Ooh. when you're finding a romantic partner? Your phone tap is coming up.